My plan, my goal, had been to try and figure out a way to use this stator without making any modifications to it whatsoever. And yeah, you know, I found there were ways to get around what what we saw. But basically, what we had was you know 100 volts or more. I think I saw 300 volts. You know, at full speed at the full speed my drill could do. It's just way too high voltage. Once you tie that to batteries, uh, it just it's like the brakes were on. So it wouldn't work. I did a little bit of research. There were transformers and so, so there, were, there were a number of ways in which we could get around that problem but they were all either expensive or they were complicated or I simply lacked the resources to pull them off you know in what we're looking at today I'm actually missing a lot of resources I'm actually not able to get to a lot of things right now that I would normally have ready access to. Uh, so we went ahead and, and did the thing. We separated this uh, the setup. We changed it from you know one set of you know 12 coils to three sets of four coils. Uh, and the number that I got off of the back shed, uh, I, I'm sure a lot of you guys will know what it is, and you can look up how to do this. There's a hundred videos on YouTube, actually, specifically guiding you through the process. I I actually filmed the process, and uh, you know, it's two hours of footage of me cutting and splicing, and I wanted to, that to be part of the video. But even whenever I sped up the work to 64 times the you know, normal speed, it was still so boring. Uh, so I'm not going to put that up. Uh, this is, like I said, it's well documented. So we're going to go and try this out and see what it does. Doing it a bit on the ghetto side. I have both alternators 
going to these two bridges. And then the bridges are tied together. And they're going by a 10 gauge wire over here to where I have connected them to the annoying little 500 watt turbines meter. It's outside going nuts now. Let's see if... Okay. So we're going to take a stab at seeing what it can, it can do. Two hundred twenty watts. I don't know if that's that's the high I already had. I'm gonna try a different drill. No, oh, that's certainly not. Okay, we're gonna try. watts we're gonna try it with just one alternator on it let's see what just one of them does All right. This is still got 10.1 amps, 222 watts. Okay. So we manage. Yeah, it's got a little squeak to it. I think that this thing, it's just, it's overpowering my drill. I think that, uh, with a big, big enough rotor on it, I think you get the RPM really needed to make some real power. Okay, that's our stator test. Where do you go from here? Everything is going to be mounted to this plate. Tower is going to be mounted off to the side, just like that. I think. I don't know. We'll uh, we're playing that by ear. Anyway. Uh, if uh, you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. You'll get updates for whenever I make new, new videos. And uh, guys, stay safe. Have a nice night. Thanks for watching.